Hi guys, welcome back to RRC and part two of the trailer build uh, with the motorized support legs um, for the trailer. Um, so I have made a little start with this guys only because I wanted to um, see if I could retain the existing um, fifth wheel plate. Uh, reason being is the one that comes with this kit is much larger here let me see that um, it's much larger and it doesn't seem to come with um, anything to locate the trailer switch uh, that goes inside the fifth wheel so basically when you back the trailer on and this switch is activated it makes the MFC um, emit a, a clanking sound like you've backed up to a trailer uh, and connected it So for realism. So I wanted to retain that. Now I, I don't know whether there is something available for this fifth wheel but it is quite big, quite large and I wanted to keep the more modern one which is smaller so I'll show you that now guys. So, uh, But I just wanted to show you what I've done with the fifth wheel because I uh, I've just followed the instruction there and then you've got this lever that activates the uh, the leg when you've got it mounted it um, sort of backs out and the servo the servo pushes this against it and then it makes the legs go up and then when it takes it away then the servo uh, goes the other way pulls this this way and then the legs go down so um, but this is the original fifth wheel that I got with the Scania kit. It looks very similar, but it's ever so slightly smaller. And I just think it looks better. I mean, there's not much difference. I'll show you there. So there's not much difference there, but there is a bit. Now, if you flip it over, you can see that there doesn't appear to be uh, anywhere you can mount that switch which is goes in here I've got to take this apart and do it so I'm glad I could go with the original uh, hopefully it won't cause many problems but we'll see so that's that so okay guys with no further ado uh, I'm gonna get this fifth wheel mounted back on here and then I can go ahead with the rest of the build for the legs so I'm just gonna take this take this off so I can fit the uh, switch in there and then hopefully the only other thing you have to change guys is the deck plate or the fifth wheel plate whatever you want to call that uh, you have to change that you can't use the existing and in my opinion the um, the existing one is quite plain there's no detail there's no ratchet effect here or teeth for the uh, fifth wheel to slide along it's it's pretty plain but the rod the changes goes in this groove here so I guess I've just got to use this which is a shame but oh well, that's it that's that's what it is so you have to just use it I'll try and film this best I can guys but it's a little awkward you know if you're building from scratch it would be a lot easier but it's a little bit fiddly Okay guys, I've got the uh, micro switch in there. Um, you know, I've just got to get a bracket on on there now that helps the fifth wheel tilt backwards and forwards like, like so. 
and then uh, get this plate screwed down. There you go, that's the fifth wheel on there, all bolted to the fifth wheel plate. Let's get that screwed down. A bit of thread lock on there to so it doesn't come undone. Okay guys, that's the fifth wheel back on the truck there. Um, and the switches is fitted, so that should be all good. Um, just get these wires back in there. Fasten back in. So we can move on to the next stage now guys, where we can get the uh, uh, we can start getting the servo put together and uh, fastened into the chassis as well. Hey guys, um, just fitting the servo now into the uh, fifth wheel operation plate, that's what you'd call it. Um, so sort of going to be fitted like so um, but with it sort of that way around that orientation for this servo so yeah we'll get uh, the brackets mounted and then get on with it just going to get this started in here because there's only one screw to go in <coughs> and that should push through the servo anyway I would think um, there, so we'll get this started. Seem to be excessively long then. One screw is there. So guys, zoom in a little bit, give you a little bit more of a better look, hopefully. Like so. 
and then put it along the So it just looks like that. So before I screw this to the plate guys, I'm going to get the servo in neutral uh, in the centre position. Make sure that's there and then I'll be fitting the servo horn to that. Uh, there is a little brass ball that has to screw onto that as well. Um, and once we've done that, I should be able to get it fitted into the chassis and uh, get the linkage connected up. Okay, guys, that should be in the neutral position there. Just get this as centered as possible. Probably the best I'm going to get it there. See, it's, it's off. It's not brilliant either way. Not too far off being central. A little, little bit of thread lock on this. Okay guys, that's the uh, fifth wheel servo bracket on. So now we just gotta get it fitted in the truck. Okay guys, um Getting this um, fifth wheel plate into the chassis is a bit of a pain. What, because I've run my wires within the chassis rail, it's made it a little bit too tight. So I have to take the servo off the plate again uh, and then get the, uh, get the servo inside the chassis and then put the plate back onto it to align it up. Um, but it was a bit of a pain so you depending on how you've run your wire and you may not have that problem I didn't really want to re rewire it you know pull the wires out of the chassis there just wanted to keep it tidy so um, providing we're clearing on that server which it looks like we are I mean I can give it a little bit more movement on there I'll give it a try now see what see what it's looking like see if it clears So 
but before I put that on, let's see uh, if it's catching on the side of the frame. It looks sort of a bit of a gap there, it is close, but um, hopefully it will clear it. Just catches that, guys. The, I don't think it's going to travel that far to do it. Let's just put that back in neutral again. Clip that on. Bear in mind that's going to be like so. twist in there okay guys the it, it's all together uh, if I put this into um, manual mode just to give it a test the it just needs to be adjusted in the radio limits uh, it's pushing that a little bit too far so buckle on the servo horn so it really just needs to be adjusted there so that should cure that okay guys i'm just going to get this server wire into the channel 5 on the receiver it's the uh, chosen one for me um just going to put a bit of lumen tape around that so it hides the hides the bright colors Makes a black background as best I can. Now, I don't want to bore you with this guy, so I'll uh, I'll get this tape around it, get it into the receiver, and I'll get you back on. Okay, guys, that's the um, server wire. Just uh, some lumen tape on, so it blends in with the rest. It's plugged into channel five. Uh, I don't want to bore with just setting that up and showing that work or you've just seen it working so that's connected. Um, all I need to do now <clears throat> for this section anyway is just get that uh, set up on channel 5 on the radio. So uh, that's it for this video guys. Um, so we've, we've got all this installed now, the fifth wheel, the servo to operate the fifth wheel and the legs. So the next thing is to is to carry on with the actual leg build and then getting it onto the trailer <clears throat> and see things coming together. Okay guys, much appreciated you watching the videos and subscribing um, to it. So thanks very much for that and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.